주셔서 부착 감사드립니다. 그리고 저기 이렇게 그 카이스트에 와서 발표를 할수 있는 기회가 생겨서 얼마나 얼마나 반가운지 모르겠습니다. 예. 어, 오늘 발표할 내용은 어, 저는 개인적으로는 컴플렉스 주어메트리랑 컴플렉스 어널리시스를 공부하고 있습니다. 주어메트릭 포인트 오브 뷰에서 기학적인 관점에서 기학적인 관점에서 이제 이피밸런스 프로블럼이 중요하니까 어, 컴플렉스 주어메트리 입장에서는 그러니까 컴플렉스 이퀴버런스, 그러니까 바이홀로모피즘이라든지 오늘 다룰 CR 매니폴드라고 하면 CR 이퀴버런스 같은 프로블럼이 중요하다고 생각이 되고요. 그리고 그래서 오늘 할 내용은 그런 CR 이퀴버런스 프로블럼 중에서 어떤 종류의 오토모피즘이 어떤 종류의 성질을 가지면 그런 리지디티가 생기는데 그 리지디티에 관한 그런 그런 제너럴리제이션을 발표하도록 하겠습니다. 예. 혹시 좀 생소하실 음, 서브젝트일지도 모르겠어가지고 일단 인트로덕션을 시작하겠습니다. 오케이. Okay. Let me start. Let me start my talk. In this talk, I will talk about some, some category of manifolds, so-called CR manifolds. CR manifold, when we mention a CR manifold, it means always other dimensional manifold with sub o n d of H in Tn. of dimension 2n and a complex structure on H with with a trivial relations. When we mention M, H, and J, we call this triple an almost CR Manifold. A typical example is um, is a hypersurface in a complex manifold. If we, if we have a if we consider a complex Euclidean space, and if we consider complex real hyperplane, real hypersurface. And if we define H by Tn intersection if we consider I invariant tangent bundle, then this is this then M, H and I become a, almost CR manifold. Actually in this case We have one more algebraic relation, really algebraic, we can get an algebraic condition for the, for the bundle H2N, H2N, the, the, the bundle H. If, as usual, when we consider a complex bar bundle or complex structure, it's natural to consider a complexified tangent bundle. such a complexification because the linear operator J doesn't have, doesn't have any eigenvalue in the real, on the real field. So it's natural to consider the, the complexified tangent bundle to get a, eigen, to, consider, to, to compute the eigenvalue of, of the J. Then this, then, the, then up to the eigenvalue of, of, of the complex structure J, this splits into two cell bundles where on H10, J equals to the multiplication by I, and here J is multiplication by minus I. And actually H01 is H10. Then the two Define an almost complex structure, almost CR structure, is equivalent to define the sub-bundle H10. 
in the complex complexified tangent bundle. Then in this case, if we consider such a case, then we know that uh, this complexified tangent bundle H101 and H01 satisfies some integrability condition, form of integrability condition. It means that if we consider the section of gum H10, then the Lie bracket between sections still included in H10. This is usually called the integrability condition. <laughs> and as you see, in the tangent bundle, there is a missing direction. There is a complex direction. And there is one real missing direction. So when, in case that the, this, so it's natural to consider, consider, consider when the, the, the this cell bundle, this, distribu this, 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 this distribution H becomes a, becomes a contact distribution. In that case, when H is a contact distribution, it means that contact distribution. It means that there exists one form. There's none. Never been one form, set up. Such that set on H is zero and this theta on H is non-degenerate. If H is a contact distribution, and if, if we consider the two from this theta with argument X and JX is always positive for every x in h minus zero. Then we call the, the triple m h j is so-called strongly pseudo-convex. The typical example is the sphere The Euclidean space is always strongly pseudo-convex. Actually, every strongly convex, bound, strongly convex hypersurface in C Euclidean space is always strongly pseudo-convex. And and we define a mapping. Uh, equivalence between uh, two CR manifold, if we consider M, H, J, and M prime, H prime, J prime, there are two, if we consider two almost CR manifold, and if we consider a diffeomorphism phi, we call phi a uh, CR equivalence. If and only if phi preserves the almost complex structure. And the space of all CR equivalence map from M to N. We usually denote by OT MHT. We call this is the automorphism CR, automorphism group of the C 
CR made for Uno CR made for the MHJ. Then, as usual, we can we 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 call a manifold is homogeneous, so it. This condition is equivalent with the commutation, commutative condition. Yeah, yes, right. So one of the fundamental question in geometry is to find, to characterize a homogeneous space when the when the equivalence is defined. So. In 1995, maybe, Richard Schwinn proved that, he proved that, he proved the following theorem that if M is J is a strongly pseudo convex, CR manifold, almost CR manifold, with integrable structure J. He assumed that integrability condition, integrable structure J. And if the automorphism, CR automorphism group acts on M, so non-properly, then he proved that M must see our equivalent with sphere, either sphere or sphere minus single point. In this case, is an, this case, this is the case that M is compact. This is the case that M is non-compact. So what is the meaning of non-proper action? Yeah, I, I will explain it. Here, non-proper action means that the exact definition of the non-proper action is as follows. Non-proper action, a topological group acts on the topological manifold M non-properly if we don't if for every complex set K the set G of K is G in G with G K intersection K becomes non-empty is compact on G. This is the definition of non-proper action. Most typical, most typical example of non-proper action is, is when the group has a non-compact isotropy. So if we assume, for instance, if there is a sequence Vj in CR automorphism of M with Vj of P is P for P, for some P in M, for some P in M, and Vj goes to P, converges to P, the constant mapping. In this case, we, we say that the Vj contract M to the point P. In this case, as you, as you see that if we, the GP, the single point P is non-compact because there's a non, there's a non-compact always Vj. In this case, GP is non-compact, no, no, properly, I'm sorry. In case, 
JP is non-compact. So we see that G I'm sorry. Okay. The automorphism group X run properly. So you just you just think that you can just think that non propagation is equivalent with the, 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 the existence of sequence of contraction. Okay, sure. yeah. So what do you mean by phi j goes to to goes to the constant function P, constant mapping. Okay. Yeah. Constant mapping. Yes. So please, please. Yeah. So point wise convergence. Actually, converges, 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 uniform convergence in compact subset. Uniformly, uniformly on any compact set. Yes, S J equals to infinity. So usually, the homophagy is finite number. Okay. Of course, yeah. In, in that, we don't. It's not. You. It's. Not, if manifold is strong, still convex, then the, the, then the automorphism group is finite dimensional and becomes a Lie group with, uh, with this the topology. In strong pseudo convex case, the, the dimension of automorphism group, the maximum dimension, maximum dimension of automorphism group can, is achieved by the, the sphere. And in this case, the dimension is, let me see. Maybe n plus one squared minus one. Isometric of the Euclidean metric? I mean, uh, induced metric, standard metric. Standard metric, Euclidean metric. Yeah. The, metric from induced, from the dimension of. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But, uh, the, but it, it's different because. Because CR, I will show that, I will show later. Uh, the CR automorphism, CR automorphism like, looks like a, it's a conformal transformation in Riemannian geometry. So actually this theorem, in this paper, he, he presented two theorems. One is this and the other one is a conformal the theorem about the conformal transformations. He, he proved that if N is a Riemannian manifold with with conformal transformation group acting on M done properly, then it must be it must be equivalent with Euclidean space or the sphere. Actually, the the conjecture first was proposed by Alexeyevsky, and but his paper has has some some some, some problems, and and Richard Schwann, Rick Schwann, co yeah, recovered the the, the the proof by the Yamabe from the Yamabe equation. Yeah. But I don't like, to, I will not talk about the history of conformal geometry in this talk because I am more interested in a complex geometry. This is a, in a complex point of view, this is a parallel results of so-called uh, one Rose theorem. What's the, what's the theorem? <laughs> the, this theorem is, if we consider any domain, we, we don't need to consider bounded domain. Let's consider a domain in C n, a domain with smooth boundary, and consider a point. P 
And if there exists, suppose there exists an interior point Q and by hollow sequence or by hollow morphic map to omega to omega such that Vj of Q goes to P and is J equal to the infinity. So it means that there is a there is just a sequence of automorphisms by hollow morphism pulling this point to the boundary point Q. And as I as I said, the boundary of the domain is, is a CR manifold, so we can, we can say the strongly pseudo convexity at the boundary point. So, and if boundary point is strongly pseudo convex, then omega must be biholomorphic to the unit ball Bn. So you can regard Schoen's theorem as a boundary version of wong rose theorem because, because by, the, by the famous performance extension theorem, performance extension theorem, Every bihelomorphic map from omega to omega can be extended smoothly to the up to the boundary. And if we consider the extended map on the boundary of omega, then this be, you this can assume that the, the strong Yes, let's assume let's assume the strong pseudo convex at every pound point. the convex. <laughs> then this map become this map becomes a automorphism CR automorphism of boundary omega. This is CR automorphism of boundary of omega and and the the the, the map VJ also contracts the, uh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For arguing the CR version, let's let's see the, the basic idea of the of this proof. The basic idea of this proof divides two parts. The part The first part is so-called the localization argument. Localization argument means that if we consider any compact subset in omega, and if we consider any small labels in P around P, then if J is large enough, then Vj of k included in the neighborhood of u, neighborhood u, section omega. <laughs> it means that this Vj contracts not only it's the single point q, but also contracts arbitrarily large compact set to, to, uh, into a neighborhood of the, 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 the into a neighborhood of the, the the reference point P. It means that philosophy in principle, the local geometry near the boundary point dominates the global geometry of the domain. This is not true, I think. Local geometry. P 
global geometry. And next, because this small part almost look like a, looks like a, a part of ball. So we consider a scaling linear map from the small neighborhood to the, the large part of the, the, the CN. Consider scaling sequence. Then by the normal family theorem, by a small modification of the normal family theorem, the conclusion. This is very rough idea of, of the proof of the wrong Roche theorem. But if we consider the boundary of omega, if we consider the boundary of omega, then the boundary of omega also contract, is contracted to the single point P as J goes to infinity. And phi j also converts to the single point as on any compact set in boundary of omega. So it means that the automorphism group acts on the boundary of omega done properly. So, so the, the Schoen's theorem is is reasonable to be expected to as a boundary version of one Roger theorem, right? Am I right? But when we consider a boundary, or we, when you consider a generally CR manifold, almost CR manifold, pardon me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but. Actually, your Schoen's theorem is a, is a, you can regard it as a, a, one of the boundary version of the wang Roget theorem, actually, but it's not a real boundary version because in wang Roget theorem, we only need a strong pseudo-convex near the boundary point, near the reference point. We don't need a strong pseudo-convex on global, as a global assumption. But in Schoen's theorem, we need a global strong pseudo-convexity because because if we want to consider a CR manifold, the situation is really, in, in, in a sense, strikingly different with the, the domain case. If we consider a CR geometry, there are many, many, many differences, but I guess two of them are very important. The first difference is in CR geometry, there is a local invariance in CR geometry. Like Chan connects Chan curvatures and Chan torsions and West curvatures and so on. But as you see, in complex geometry, there is no local invariance because in, in complex setting, every, every locally it looks like a Euclidean space. And second, in CR geometry, we don't know about the convergence of sequence. There is no general criterion. for the sequence, for the convergence of sequence. So, P is just one point? Yes. Or point? Just a single point, fixed, fixed point, yes. And 
this is what means if the suppose there's p in the boundary of omega and there's q in the interior of omega and finally there's a sequence of bionomorphism vj so just one yeah. yes right but uh, because the strong pseudo convexity is a generic condition so if you if p is a point of strong strong pseudo convexity then 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 then, 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 then uh, Every boundary point near P is also a strong pseudo convex boundary point. We need to solve local equivalence problem. And in integrable case, this local equivalence problem was done by many important mathematicians like Tanaka, Chan, Moja, Western, and so on, in integral case. And fourth, the second question, we don't know generally there is a, if there is a, a general criterion for the convergence of sequence, but if n is integrable and globally strongly pseudo-convex, one 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 yes, the first question, for the first question. I, I mean that. that for the local equivalence problem in CR manifold, of CR man between CR manifolds. Yeah. yeah. Because we because we want to prove that the local the rigidity theorem of the, the, the sphere or 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 Heisenberg yeah. yeah. You need to solve the equivalence problem. Even the, we, we have to define uh, the churn curvature or west curvatures and so on. And we the, the vanishing of a churn curvature or west curvature implies that the local equivalence it guarantees the local equivalence with the, the sphere of Heisenberg groups. We have to solve the, the local equivalence. We, we have to define the local local equivalence problem. I mean that. Yeah. I, yes. Yes. Right. Maybe. So the local invariance are going to solve. Yeah. Right. Yes. You're right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You're right. We have to we have to find the local invariance and we have to solve the we have to solve the the, 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 the yeah so it's local equivalence problem. In, in, in integrable in integrable CR manifold, uh, the 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 Levy form is so-called non-degenerate yes, SHS. The local equivalence problem is, is can be completely solved. Yeah. It's trend theory and theory. Yeah. 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 In in terms of G structure, it, the G structure of the, the CR structure is much more complicated than the, the Riemannian structure. That's the that was a, the that was a difficulty with the of the CR equivalence problem. And for the convergence of sequence, in complex analysis, the, the normal family theorem is a consequence of the Cauchy estimates, right? And the Cauchy estimates is a is a. Can you, can you remind us of the normal family theorem? As usual, the usual normal family theorem is is F, F J as a some, some domain to a, some domain to to another domain, and if this is bounded, it's holomorphic mapping, then Fj of the subsequence converges to uh, some of the subsequence converges to, uh, to some holomorphic function from omega to the closure. The normal family theorem is uh, OK. 
Okay, let, let me see. Hmm. To have a, generally, to, to guarantee uh, existence of sub convergence of subsequence, existence of convergence subsequence, we, need, we, we have to, we usually use the, the ascoli azela theorem. ascoli azela theorem is a consequence, is a, we need a, 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 a equicontinuity of the, of, of the sequence. And equicontinuity is, a, it can be achieved by some, it's first order derivative estimates of the mapping. And if we know the size of the mapping, then, then from the size of the, the, the size from the bounded size of the mapping, we can get a derivative estimate by the Cauchy, Cauchy estimate, Cauchy integral formula. Then it guarantees the existence of convergence subsequence from the Ascoli-Azela theorem. It's a normal family theorem. The normal family theorem usually is a consequence of Cauchy estimate, and Cauchy estimate is a kind of a derivative estimate of mapping. So we need a derivative estimate for the, for the convergence of sequence. For this, we need a derivative to, to get a derivative estimate. But Because in CR case, because we have no such a Cauchy, Cauchy integral formula and so on, so we need another machinery to, to get a derivative estimate. And Schwen's idea is to use to the, for the derivative estimate, it's, net, it's, it's easy to, to consider use, consider, consider the, the consider the so-called electricity, actually sub-electricity of the Yamaba equation. If we have uh, some linear sub-elliptic operator or linear elliptic operator, then from the electricity we get a, we can get a derivative estimate from the from from the from the equation. It's a usual elliptic elliptic theory. This is a, a this is the this was a, the the showing the idea to get a derivative estimate in strong pseudo convex case. This is, in this case, it's so-called the CR Yamaba equation. Let, let me explain it briefly. The CR Yamaba equation is a is an analogy of the conformal Yamaba equation in Riemannian geometry. Now, let's consider the CR Yamaba equation. This was intensively studied by David Jerison and John Lee. The C when we mention the CR Yamaba equation, we consider a strongly pseudo-convex CR manifold. In this case, we assume J is integrable. As I said before, strong from the, the strong pseudo convexity assume the context structure, the context structure of the distribution. So let's consider a fixed contact one form. And when we consider quadruple M, H, J, and theta. This quadruple is called pseudo Hermitian manifold. This word defined by Sidney Webster.
pseudo homicidal structure is really, really similar with the homicidal structure in a sense. So, from from pseudo, if, if we have a, if, if once we have a pseudo homicidal manifold, then we can define a pseudo homicidal connection, pseudo homicidal torsion. And pseudo homicidal curvatures. And if we con and contracting the, the, the curvature tensor, we also get a scalar curvature, like uh, the homicidal scalar, homicidal scalar curvature. Contracting curvature tensor, we get a we get a scalar curvature. We usually it's called the vector scalar curvature. Yeah? Doesn't it depend on the choices for this theta? It depends on theta. Always depends on theta. Always, yes. That's the point. Depends a lot on theta or? That's the point. Actually, we can choose other, other contact from theta, right? And it's, uh, it's, it's usually the, when you call, when you, when you consider other contact form, it must, it must be a positive multiple of, of, of theta. So it's conformal? Yes, right. And, and uh, the conformal transformation are follows the, the, some kind of equation. It's called the, the, the CRM of equation. Okay. So if we consider a theta tilde is some you know, positive multiple of theta, and as a convention, usually we consider the power 2 over n of the theta u is positive function, positive smooth function on n. Then Then we also can define the scalar curvature R theta tilde, right? Then R theta tilde and R theta is related by the equation U. So sub Laplacian, I'm sorry, some constant Cn of sub Laplacian plus R theta. This equation is usually called CR Yamaba equation. This is the sub Laplacian. I, I, I don't like to talk about the, the sub Laplacian operator deeply. This is just, we got this is a self restraint and sub elliptic operator. Okay? Sub Laplacian. And about the solvability of the sub, sub Laplace, the CR level equation was intensively studied by Jason Lee and R. Shen himself. And when we consider a Yamabe problem, it, um, CR Yamabe problem, it, it means that, uh, it means that, it means how can we find such a function, such a contact form theta tilde that which make our theta is constant. Theta constant. And this is the Yamabe problem. This is the, this is the equation. This is the equation. It's finding this. To find, to find this yeah, the, to, the, to find the, the constant conformal pseudo conformal transformation, which make the the the, the, yeah, the, the scalar curvature become constant. Yeah. It's a Yamabe problem. And, and the Yamabe problem from the Yamabe solvability of Yamabe problem.
if n is non-compact, then from the solvability of Yamabe problem, problem, Shen proved that we can make the, we can choose contact form theta with either r theta is negative 1 or 0. This usually, we call usually this property the, the dichotomy, showing the dichotomy here. His idea for the for the, the, the proof of showing his theorem. So you mean solvability of the problem depends on the choice of No 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 solvability of Yambabe problem implies that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, we we made we can make this we can make this part either minus one or negative one or zero. By so by by solving the, the equation. So if the problem is solved then Yes, and the, the Yamabe problem was solved or a little solved. Yeah. And we have such a problem. Yeah. So we 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 can fix a contact form with scalar curvature either negative one, negative constantly negative one or zero. And in this case, one can show directly this case if our set is constant negative one. If R set is constantly negative one, then the CR automorphism. This looks like a conformal automorphism for the pseudo pseudo homogeneous structure. It, it, it means that this the CR automorphism behaves like a conformal transformation in Riemannian geometry, and the, the CR automorphism group of M acts on M always properly. You can get a direct derivative estimate from this condition. And if R theta is zero, then what's the meaning? We, we, it means that we can make this part zero, right? Then the equation becomes linear. Then from the then the, the from the, the linear stability property of the equation. We can get uh, if there is a non-proper action, and there exists non-proper action, then n must be equal to s two n plus one minus single point, because the dichotomy theorem is the case when n is non-compact. And compact case is uh, just uh, the modification of the non-compact case. This is essential, uh, essential argument of Schoen's theorem. Very brief and essential argument. So we, I and my collaborator, one of my collaborator, Kang Yak Lee, who is in now Korea Institute of Advanced Studies, KIAS, we wanted to generalize his theorem without integra integrability condition. For that, we consider the, from the candidate about non-integrable CR model with, with non-proper automorphism action. And as I showed you, as I showed you, the, the, we can regard the, the Schoen's theorem as a 
boundary version of Wong Roche theorem. So we thought we considered the, the, the generalization of the Wong Roche theorem in almost complex setting. And this was already proved by Gossier and Sukov and my collaborator King Lee, separate Lee, that if omega is a bounded some domain is strongly pseudo convex, strongly pseudo convex domain in almost complex manifold. If we consider a, a almost complex manifold and if we consider a domain of omega inside the, inside the manifold and then with the same assumption assumption as the wong roger theorem Omega must be biholomorphic to, I will note by omega p, some, this is some model domain, domain with model structure. Model, almost complex structure. And they characterize, characterize the, the model structures for the domain. I, I will not explain the model structure. I, instead of that, I will explain the, 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 the bound, because, because we, we want to, to prove the boundary version of the, the, this, this one logic theorem. It's natural, it's, it's natural to consider the boundary of omega, model, boundary of model domains here. So if we consider, a, if we consider a boundary of omega p, this is, this can, this, is, this can be interpreted as a, as a, some, some group model, like Heisenberg group. What's P? Okay. Let me show, let me show the, the P. This is a... Sorry, what is the topologically? Topologically? Topologically. Topologically? Yes, topologically, yes. Actually, this is a... This is same with the ball topologically. Ball with uh, other structure. Yeah. If we consider the, but 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 uh, the almost complex structure cannot be compactified like ball. The the almost com this topologically this is equivalent with the ball, but uh, the, the almost complex structure itself does cannot be compactified like the on a label of ball. The boundary of omega p, this is a strongly pseudo-convex, almost CR manifold defined as follows. Here, p is some p alpha beta is a n by n complex. Symmetry matrix. Constant, constant, constant matrix. The boundary of omega p, the CR structure, the boundary of omega p is topologically, this is Cn times R. And if we consider a Coordinate z1, zn, t, t. Then the, if and if we consider a vector field defined by d z alpha plus i z alpha bar plus p alpha beta of z beta of d over dt, then h10 to define a CR structure on the CR structure. If we consider h10, then this is a span of Z1 from Zn. 
So if it means that if we if we give a almost CR structure on C n times R, this is equivalent with the boundary of omega p. There. So maybe you, uh, you can write uh, H the half space uh, in n plus one dimension. This is how you can write yeah. In case P is zero, this is the, the standard Heisenberg group model. This is a sphere minus single point. And then H zero is S two N plus one minus single point. And if P is non zero, then the What's HP? We, we denote this like HP. Then the structure of HP, it, structure of HP is non-integrable. Then our theorem is Without integrability condition, strength theorem, no, let me, let me, if M is strongly pseudo convex, almost CR manifold, and if the automorphism group acts on M non properly, then M must equivalent to one of HP if M is compact, non compact, or standard structure. Compact. It means that if consider a compact manifold, then it cannot admit a non-integrable such a CR structure. Only non-compact manifold cannot cannot admit almost non-integrable CR structure with contracting automorphisms. If if n is two or three. We don't know higher, higher dimensional case. It's just we can prove the, this five and seven dimensional case. When you consider a, when you want to prove the, when you prove the, the our, when you prove our theorem, when you want to prove this theorem, if we want to follow the Schoen's idea, we have to, what we have to do? We have to first solve the local equivalence problem, like the, the integral case. We have to generalize local equivalence problem to non-integrable situation, non-integrable case. This is not very difficult. You can you can make the make a generalization generalization with a small small effort. But the problem is the CR Lamov equation fails. So it means that if we consider a strongly if we consider a strongly pseudo convex CR manifold and if we consider the pseudo homogeneous structure by taking a by taking a contact form, then the, the Webster scalar curvature doesn't follow the, the CR Yamaba equation when under the, the conformal transformation. It's much more complicated than the integral case. And the complexity makes the problem difficult to follow the, in following the, the Schoen's idea. 
So instead of CR lambda equation, we looked for another invariance which follow a Yamaba type equation. Because Yamaba equation actually this comes from the Riemannian structure, right? This is this is this was originated by from the Riemannian structure and conformal geometry. So we instead of CR Yamaba equation we consider so-called sub-Riemannian and sub-conformal structure. Consider sub-Riemannian structure. It means that the Riemannian structure on the sub-bundle H. Here again, you have a theta? Yeah. A yeah. branch of theta. For to define a Yamaha equal, Yamaha problem, there was a scalar curvature, we need a theta contact form. And, and, and you can also uh, make a you can consider conformal transformation formula about, uh, between, between lesser scalar curvatures. But the, the, the conformal transformation formula is much more complicated than in the integral case. It's not, it's not a Yamaha equation. It's okay, really. It's the change yeah. of the scalar curvature yeah. when you change the theta by a conformal. Right, case. exactly. That yes. gets more complicated. Yeah. It's much more complicated than in the integral case. So, see that um, the equation phase means actually. The, the conformal transformation. I think so. It's, in, it's not possible. It, it, it's, it, it's not. It, it's, it seems not possible to be simplified like a Yamaha equation. It's, it's really complicated, and you can. So anyway, you can, can find a version of uh, CR Yamaha equation in that case also. But the it's not a Yamaha equation. The equation is not a Yamaha equation. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yes, yes. You, we, we can compute the transformation formula, mm -hmm. but it's, it cannot be simplified like a Yamaha equation. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. So instead of the, the pseudo Hermitian pseudo structure and CR structure, we decided to consider sub Riemannian structure and everything. But then one may ask that uh, if we consider a contraction of curvature, so called the sub Riemannian scalar curvature, then under the sub conformal change, under sub conformal change, Theta tilde of G tilde is some U of 2N of theta with G. Under the sub conformal chains, then the scalar curvature follows Yamaha type equation. If this, if if we succeed this, to 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 derive this equation, we can make use of this equation instead of CR Yamaha equation. We we call this equation the subconformal equation, subconformal Yamaha equation. But unfortunately, uh, still under the subconformal change. The, the, even the, if we consider the sub-conformal, sub-Riemannian scalar curvature, it doesn't follow the, this type of equation yet. We have to restrict our attention to, to, a, small, to a smaller category of sub-Riemannian structure. So to make it true, this is, this is false, this failed. To make it true, First, we have to have to restrict our attention. Restrict our attention to a smaller category in the contact subliminal structure. We call this orthogonal contact subliminal. Manifolds. And even if consider the orthogonal context of Riemannian structure, we still we cannot deduce the, the Yamaha equation. So instead of usual, instead of considering usual scalar curvature, we define a new new 
invariant so-called twisted scalar curvature defined the twisted scalar curvature. Then, in, the, in this smaller category, the twisted scalar curvature follows the Yamaba equation under the subconformal changing. Then, it succeeds. Then, instead of using the, the CR Yamaba equation, we use an orthogonal context of Riemannian structure. Mm -hmm. Then, we can get a the result like Schoen's theorem. But the construction of orthogonal context of Riemannian structure in almost CR manifold, we just can we can just succeed it in succeed in the, the five and seven dimensional case. Higher dimensional case, it, it seems not an easy problem to construct orthogonal context of Riemannian structure, and we succeed it. Succeed in construction of orthogonal context of Riemannian structure for almost CR manifold just in five or seven dimensional case. That's the reason why we have to consider lower dimensional cases. In higher dimensional cases, it's still open problem how to construct a, such a orthogonal context of Riemannian structure or how to prove the how to generalize the Schrodinger theorem in a most complex setting. I'm sorry, I'm late. Thank you.